hopefully defeat this little elf. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know if we're actually going to beat him. I mean, I'm pretty don't confident. You know it's rude to interrupt a performance, but you are just in time, wizard. This is your final act. He looks so good with the graphics. Oh, my God. Okay. See, I'm pretty sure we can defeat him. I go first, so I'm just going to take out the magma. Okay, good. No fizzle, which means it's just us versus him. He's going to hit me with a life. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. You know, if we have a shield, we do. I'm going to get rid of that. Don't think we'll use the air walker to be honest. I'm gonna put up a shield to get to get a pip and to defend ourselves against him. Hopefully he doesn't use like a weak spell to get rid of it, but you know. He did. Okay. That's always fun. Okay, so we need to I want a pixie, I'm gonna delete the pixie. One more, and then we could storm shark him and possibly kill him. Because if we do this, then we can storm shark him, and he'll be low, sort of low health. So, ooh, we got a lab blade. Okay, so let's see if we can use. So this has to do a decent amount of damage. Three nine two. Okay, so a fire cat. That's not bad. That doesn't even break a hundred. Now let's just use clash and finish this battle off. Let's go. Come on. We can do it. We did it. Ooh, we got swift arrow staff. Oh, I want to know what it looks like. I don't want it, but I want to know what it looks like. Because I might put that in my house. Swift arrow staff. That doesn't look bad. Okay. As you pour the potion into his mouth, Alakane's swift arrow shivers and his maddened eyes soften. I, I remember. I was cursed, as were all my people. Did Private Quinn send you? Tell him his arrow saved me, as mine once did him. The curse. I can feel the effects of the curse weakening. Now that we know it was the Banshee's curse, we will guard against it. Tell Private Quinn that we owe him a debt of gratitude. And thanks to you, wizard, for freeing all of us. No problemo. So now we have to talk to a whole bunch of people. So we're going to go talk to Gretel, go talk to Sheilas, and then Private Quinn. So I want to get those those people out of the way yes yeah, so not a bad battle pretty good it really helps with that extra pip starting pip like it's really hard to find um anything to really like top that but eventually something will do more damage or something right like a lot more damage okay so now we need to probably do something else I will create the soundboard for the harpsichord from the molten rock and allow it to harden. Just one more thing is needed. The harpsichord strings need some conditioning. Bring me some fire rosin to strengthen the strings. You can get that from Anna Flamerite. Anna Flamerite, yes. Okay. So that's one done. This is two going to be too... Ooh, let's grab that, because why not? What's up, Sheila? Ah, got your Mushu thing. The spirit of the Samurai Mogagawa. I will find its rightful owner. Well done, young wizard. I recently learned that Worm Guts, a nasty ghoul, has stolen a relic from the museum in Marley. It's called a sleeper's timepiece. It's a simple pocket watch that can bring nightmares to life. Worm Guts lives in a tower somewhere on Firecat Alley. Defeat him and bring me the sleeper's timepiece, 
and I will reward you as never before. Hmm. That might actually Thank be a fun one to do. Prince Swift Arrow. Your deeds here will long be remembered by the elves. I'm glad to see the elves again, even if they are a bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, just no, a bit. Oh, I never thought the curse would win, even for a moment. Still, I'm glad you helped my friend, Prince Alakain. Firecat Alley. Please go tell Whoa. the Master Ambrose about the curse upon the Fire Elves. I will stay here and warn the others. Okay, well. He, he's gone. Amethyst said boost, not better. So, talk to Merle Ambrose, or we're going to go talk to Anne Flamerite, actually. Because we are not done in Firecat Alley, and I wouldn't mind getting all the Firecat Alley stuff done previously. Look at that molten lava. So, it just looks so good, you know? You know, you know? When you know, you know, you know. Okay, what's up, Anne? Anna Flame, right? Greta sent you here in need of fire rosin? I have not been asked for that in ages. Venture forth to the dark cave. There you will find barrels that contain mystic oil. Yay! More of a fetch quest. Okay, so we need to go get oil. So our cave is just right here, so it's not that big of a deal. I like how they have undead kind of flowing out of the cave. Let's grab that ore. Let's grab that ore. We need more ore. Never enough. Never enough ore. Okay, so now we just need to go get the barrels around. So there's one. Okay, we're here. We got this. We got this. We're good. We got this. Oh, yeah. What's ah, up, Anna? The mystic oil. Good for you. Give me a moment to make the fire rosin. I need you to retrieve the solar lens from Shellis before I can give you. I lent it to him without Falmea's knowledge. He'd best return it if he wants his pocket harpsichord finished. We got an elm tree for that? Nice. Okay, where is Rotgut? I'm gonna check the map, because now it should be mapped on the map of Mapitude, right? Okay, come on. Okay, Wormguts is there. Sheilas is there, so I'll go talk to Sheilas, and then we'll go to Wormgut, and then we'll come back to Sheilas, and then... Wait, I'm gonna just mark a location right here. It takes 14 mana, though. That's a lot of mana. Because then we can come back and quickly talk to Yanahu, because she's going to need it. But, yeah, so that's that's the main story in Firecat Alley. I think this is one of the shortest stories, but I remember it being so tedious because it took forever Great to get everything. Wombats! That relic was stolen by the Banshee, Malwina Smite. Don't tell Falmea that, though. Oh, what? I would do anything to get that relic back. Except, face the likes, you appear much more adept than me. Well, I'm sure you could easily face her. I'm guessing Please she's in that tire. Defeat the ghoul leader, Worm Guts, in his tower. Bring me the sleeper's timepiece so I can return it to its owners. We need to defeat Worm Guts and Melwina. And Melwina's here. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna do boss after boss after boss. You know what I kind of want to try? I want to try teaming up. Do you want to team up with other players in for four lane? Sure, let's go. Let's team up for in four. Okay, I'll I'll be back once I get a team. If I get a team. Okay, you know what? No. I'm just doing it alone because it it took forever. It's taking forever, and I don't want to wait much longer. And I feel like we can beat her on our own. I'm pretty, pretty a cocky. Student wizard wants to try to teach me a thing or two. Ha! Huh. Prepare to be schooled. No, just give me the oil and let's go. I won't kill you. Oh, the haunted minion. If I go first, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Okay, so I want to keep most of this stuff. Hmm. Let's just get rid of the 
haunted minion. Very helpful to be able to kill him first, first go around. Yay, plus 30. So we are going to just shield and clash and then storm shark, I'm guessing. Kind of the same thing with uh, the swift arrow dude. Even though she's death, so. Oh, wait. Mmm, excuse me, sorry. I had to yawn right there. Okay. I'm surprised. Well, I'm actually not surprised she passed because she's probably going to do a fizzle. She's, she's going to do a fizzle. Okay, let's hope we don't do a fizzle. Also, I realize why this is my least favorite area. It's because generally by the time you get here, you get spells that deal less accuracy. And if you're a storm liver or storm wizard, it's a lot less accuracy. So, with that, it's like you fizzle a lot, and I remember that just was always crappy. Don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Talk to Anna Flame, or, yeah, we have to go talk to Anna Flame, right, for the solar or whatever. But we are not doing that, I'm gonna go kill Worm Guts. So, I'll be there, I'll be back once we get there. Okay, time to kill Wormy, Wormy Guts. I kind of feel like he'll be decently easy to. It, most of them are easy just because of my wand, which I've said many times. I'll bet you are here for the sleepwalker's timepiece. Ha! You won't get it. Mm, it looks like it is time for Worm Guts to teach you a lesson. He actually looks pretty cool. But he's only a rank 2 boss, so... You know. Okay, don't want that one. Don't need both clashes. I'm guessing it's going to be the same setup again. <laughs> this time they get to go first though, which kind of is poopy, but... Uh -huh. Yay, and lightning bats. Oh, we got a power pip, so I'm not shielding because I want to do a little bit of damage before the storm shark. That power pip was a really nice, a really nice thing right there. I'm guessing the only level one spell that can break a hundred is um storm snake, maybe fire. Cat? Even that does like 80. 80 to like 110, I think. Okay, so now Storm Shark should kill him. And then we get it. Yay. Go complete. Super time piece. Okay, so we will actually just teleport straight to. We won't talk to Sheila's. We'll talk to Anna. Get her thing. Talk to Gretel. And then. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna grab these. You know, it's in the middle and there's no one there. Okay, so, Anna, Anna Flame, right? We will be talking to you. Where are you? There you are. No, I don't want ah, the ink and pen. Jealous has returned the solar lens. I am pleased that Falmea didn't have to learn of this. I will use the solar lens to process the fire rosin. Presto, the fire rosin is finished and is most excellent. Take this and run to Greta before it hardens. Young wizard. I have exciting news for you about gardening. Could you visit me in my classroom? Ooh, Coming along quite well, I see. How about you come to the school? I have something I need your help with. Wizard, yes. the Ravenwood professors tell me you're a prime candidate to learn about monstrology. monstrology. Meet me in Ravenwood whenever possible. Okay, so train Hello, that young wizard. You should come see me in Ravenwood. I think you're going to want to hear what I have to say. So I'm, what level are we? So level 12, you get gardening, monstrology, um, triton quest, a spell, well maybe not a spell, but an assignment, you know. Um, yeah, nice. Okay, so let's go to talk to Greta, finish the thing, then go talk to this guy. Because we aren't, 
We aren't okay. Freeze, freeze. Okay, we aren't talking to him until we get all of his stuff done. Um, on our way to talk to Greta. Greta Dark Kettle. She's the bad one of. She's the bad witch. She's Gretel. Truthfully, I didn't think I'd ever get this. Dealing with that apprentice can be like pulling hen's teeth. A touch of rosin to the strings and it is done. The pocket harpsichord is complete. Take this to Shellis, my friend. Okay, two more quests and then we're probably going to go complete it with Merle Ambrose. Um, complete it with Merle Ambrose, then go and do gardening and stuff like that. Ooh, the sleeper's timepiece. <gasps> What a dangerous artifact. I will return it to the museum in Marleybone. It can be safely locked away there. Great goat beards. You really came through on this. I will gladly reward you for your most excellent work. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. We did get some equipment, so I'm just going to go through. Healer's Cow, don't want that. I can sell that one, I guess. Um, hood of Tension, don't want that. And Soft Hood, don't want that. Robes, can't wear that, don't want that, don't want that, um, don't want that, don't want that, the dagger and stuff, don't want that, where was it, it was the ring? Okay, so yeah, now we get two for the price of one, basically right there, okay, let's go talk to Merle Ambrose in the comments, because we are done with Firecat Alley, done with Firecat Alley, done with Firecat Alley, yes, 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 Okay. And then didn't someone have a quest in Triton Avenue that we just read uh, on the side? Ah, it's my favorite student. I hear you've been exploring the different streets around the city. The headmaster listens intently as you tell him about the events of Firecat Alley. I was afraid of this. Malister is trying to keep us from finding out his real plans by causing chaos and panic on every street. We must find out what he is up to. For the safety of our school, I will have to think on this some more. He has found many creatures to help do his bidding. I fear that he has sinister designs, not only for our world, but for all the others as well. You have done quite well, young wizard. I am proud of you. Keep up the good work. Okay, I have well, a very important task for you today, young wizard. Your studies will have to wait. You've done such a great job elsewhere. I could use your magic on Colossus Boulevard. I had to lock the gate because the street had become too dangerous. Professor Greyrose summoned an army to run out the ghosts. Something must have gone very wrong with her spell. The gate guard, Private O'Doyle, can tell you more. Please, I know these assaults on our city streets are related. Someone must be working for Malister. I may know who is behind this, but to be certain... I'll need to access the old library archives. Unfortunately, the archives are locked. The key is in the old town tower. Even worse, the tower is now haunted by a horrid ghost named Foul. We need this key, young wizard. Go defeat Foul Gaze and bring it to me. Then we will be able to uncover who is working for Malister. Okay. Okay. That is a lot of stuff right there. There's a lot of stuff right there. Okay, but we'll go talk about gardening and monstrology. And we'll go talk to our professor. We'll go... No, we won't talk to our professor yet. We'll talk to... He has something for us, too. Okay, School of Life. What's up, Mulinda? As the professor of life magic, it falls to me to tell you about a wonderful new activity available to students. I speak of gardening. Students at Ravenwood can plant and grow amazing plants in their dormitory rooms or castles. Wizards of all schools can garden. So my hope is that every student will learn the joy of shepherding you. There is so much to learn about gardening. And I know just the person to t seek out Farley in Gollum Court. 
He will explain the basics of gardening to you. Okay. So when you do that, when you talk to Monstrology uh, Girl. Can I help you? Oh, yes, of course. You're the one I was told about. I'm Principal Monstrologist, Gilderberg. Thanks for coming. Headmaster Ambrose is allowing me to recruit talented and studious young wizards for an exciting new elective program. Monstrology. It's an ancient practice from my home world, Albion. And I've come to share monstrology throughout the spiral. So let's get started. The motto of monstrology is Know Thine Enemy. You'll learn to profile your enemy, extract their strengths, and use them to your... We use special monstrological extract spells to enchant damage spells, which can then capture an enemy's very essence or animate. An enchanted spell that deals damage will result in extraction of one animus. Plus, an additional animus is extracted with a defeated hit. Now pay attention here, because this is very important. To formally collect the animus you've extracted, you must win the duel. Once you've successfully collected an enemy's animus, their profile is added to your monstrology tome, so you can reference them at any time. There's much more to monstrology than that, of course, but I find it easier to do than to listen. It's high time for some field work. Take this extract undead animus spell and use it to capture the animus of any undead enemy you'd like to profile. Well, almost any. Since you're new to monstrology, you'll want to tussle with a low-level enemy to maximize your chances of animus extract. Start with the Lost Souls on Unicorn Way. Extract one Lost Soul animus, then return here and we'll wrap up your introduction to monstrology. Okay, so I have to do that, which I'll do. Like, I'll, I'll do it, but not right now. You've seen the signs, haven't you? Why, signs of the end of the spiral, of course. Peculiarities, instances of pure impossibility. You may not have seen them yet, but you will. The Gravulum Order has detected increasing numbers of Pecrons all across the spiral. Pecrons? Why, they're invisible micro-magic particles that exist and don't exist at the same time. In concentration, they create peculiarity. That's the theory, at least. The Gravulum Order is dedicated to investigating this frightening trend, and we need your... Take this Gravulum badge and get a reading from the Gobblers on Colossus Boulevard. Do this, and we might even invite you into the Order. Okay, so that's a new quest that I haven't seen yet. Also, School of Storms <laughs> is now going to be just sides. I've Aha! got the power. Ready to start already? Great attitude! I believe we should start with a demonstration! Go to the Golem Tower and collect a used power core from the Iron Golem there. Bring it back to me, and I will show you the power of lightning! I haven't even... I haven't even done the Golem Core Tower thing. So that one's not happening. <laughs> okay. We have quite a few quests. Let's go talk to Fowler. That's what we're gonna do. Go talk to Fowler. Been, oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always weapon. Oh my god, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I